we are going to know some formulas of standard integrals. There are some particular functions which have a lot of usage and hence whenever we will see those functions we will not evaluate them again, we will just use the formula. So the first formula in some standard integrals is integration of 1 upon x square minus x, uh, a square with respect to x and the formula goes as follows, it is equal to 1 upon 2a log x minus a upon x plus a. In short, 1 upon 2a log x minus a upon x plus a plus c. Okay, so how to do it? Basically, I am just showing you the proof of the formula and it is not needed for the exam purpose. But yes, if you know the proof, you can go about similar kind of questions too. So let's start with the proof. So the proof goes as follows, I know I have to evaluate the integral of this thing which is what? Which is nothing but dx upon x square minus a square. Now leave the thing that we have integration, just think as it is. Think that you have something called as 1 upon x square minus a square, here it is definitely dx upon x square minus a, a square but it does not mean that it is not multiplied with 1, it is multiplied with 1. Had my function only been 1 upon x square minus a square, what would I, I have expanded it as? I would have used the formula in the denominator and it would have become something called as this, x plus a, x minus a in multiplication. Now this 1. Can we modify or manipulate this one? How can we get one with these two uh, things in the denominator? I have x plus a, I have x minus a. I want to get one from these things. How do I get it? If I subtract these two things, then what will happen? x will get cancelled with minus x a plus a will become 2a and then if I divide by 2a does it not become 1? So that thing I will be using. So let me do it. I know that I have to evaluate this integral. What I do? I just simply write it as integration 1 upon x minus a x plus a and here it is nothing but dx. Now what I do? I basically use the same methodology. I write here x plus a minus x minus a upon x minus a x plus a and dx. I hope there is no issue with it because in short it also means 1 but not until you have not written 1 upon 2a. Rest everything now is very clear. I see these things getting cancelled. Now it is not that 1 upon 2a is the only thing. We have some other things also. Now let's separate certain things. We are going to see that x plus a upon the whole thing is there. So what we have? We have only 1 upon x minus a because of it and dx is there. Similarly, what happens? This is the minus sign. Again x minus a, x minus a, x plus a. It becomes 1 upon x plus a dx and the integration symbol is all over. Also I have 1 upon 2a outside that does not change. Next, next column gives me the other part of the solution 1 upon 2a as it is. Then what is the integration 1 upon x minus a? It becomes nothing but log x minus a. Then I have minus, again it is minus. Then it is 1 upon x plus a integration log x plus a. And since you have done the integration, I always need a constant of integration too. So constant of integration has to be added and it becomes nothing but plus c. So either you leave the answer as it is or you simply write 1 upon 2a log log m minus log n is what? Log m by n. So it is x minus a upon x plus a plus c and that is the answer to this integral.